Let's take a look at the sample app we'll be using in the course. The sample project is named Woot. It's an app that lets you see some public GitHub data for a GitHub user named Woot that likes to Woot all the time. You can see the Woot's repos, code gists, and some profile info. The starter project is using stub data for the GitHub data for Woot. As we go through part one of the course, we'll replace the stub data with live data from GitHub. Let's take a look now at the starter project in more detail. Download the materials for the course and open the starter project in Android Studio 3. Once the Gradle build is finished, run the app in the Android emulator or on a device that is configured for development. You can see a bottom navigation for the Woots app. One tab shows repos, the next gists, and the third profile information. On the profile screen, we're using the very popular image library Picasso to download the stubbed user avatar image to display in the app. Only stub data is shown in the app for now. On the gist screen, you can open a dialog to add a gist, but we won't add that functionality until part three of the course. Switching to Android Studio, you can see app, model, repository, UI, and view model packages in the project. In the UI package, there are sub packages for the three tabs, which are shown using fragments, and one for the main activity that contains the bottom navigation. The sub packages contain some extension functions, and the gist sub package contains some classes for handling the deletion of gists that we'll see in part three of the course. The model package contains some model classes. The view model package contains Android architecture component view models for the UI screens. The repository package contains a repository interface and a stub repository for creating the stub data shown in the app. The app package contains an application subclass and some other code used across the app. It also contains an injection object that specifies which repository to use in the app. The starter project used the stub repository, but will soon switch to a basic repository in part one, and then another repository implementation when we make the move to retrofit in part two.